Hello everyone. So in today's session, we are going to learn some data visualization tools. So first of all, let's understand what is data visualization. So data visualization is the graphical representation of information and data by using visual elements like charts, graphs, and maps. Data visualization tools provides an accessible way to see and understand the different trends, outliers, and patterns present in the data. So in the world of big data, you can say data visualization tools and technologies are the essential to analyze massive amounts of information and make data-driven decisions. So the today's session is all about you can say uh, this session uh, will be very helpful for the non mathematicals or science background students or persons like uh, the participants of english history and etc why because uh, the computer science students have many tools but uh, for the other field students we have some limited tools so in this session we will discuss some tools so these are the some ex examples of different uh, visualizations that uh, in the form of some graph charts uh, and different examples so now let's understand some free and open source data visualization tools see we have different types of visualization tools but it is not compulsory that they are free of cost so in this session i'm going to try or i'm going to explain some tools or some websites by which you can analyze your data in a very easy manner all as free of cost so now first of all we have raw graphs so this is the first site which is helpful for making charts or uh, making the data uh, to you can say by this site we can easily analyze our data so let me show you the example by opening this site so this is the example or this is the link i will provide these links as well to you so this is the first link that is the raw graphs so by this you can see the missing link between this uh, we can draw the visualization with the help of uh, some excel sheet so for this we just have to follow some simple steps just open this website click on use it now now it will ask you to load load your data so you can paste your data as well as you can upload your data so suppose i am going to upload my data just click on browse just select any file excel file so the data is uploaded different uh, settings are there that I, like uh, by which way you can separate this decimal separator if any you want data locale so different options are there now next after uploading the data on this site just choose a chart like in which type of form or in which type of chart you want to visualize this data so just simply you can see there are different types of options like just select any one okay after selecting the type of chart that as i am selecting bar chart from here just move to the next step that does mapping so in this step you need to be very careful about uh, the chart variables that uh, which variable you want in the bars or the series so you need to be very careful about it suppose i am just dragging close closing price or stock from bars so as you just drag it here you can see in the next step the chart will be shown to you see so here you can see the chart is according to the closing price now in the fourth step we have some customized options like if you want to increase the width you can increase it okay and uh, if you need to increase height or you need to decrease height you can do this you can also change colors so various options are there which is related to this chart and last not least the step is to export this particular chart in this uh, 
website various options are there to save this graph so for this time i'm going to save this in the png extension just click on download and save this file so now just open it so now you can see you can easily uh, just uh, use this graph in your paper or where you want to show this so by this way you can make graphs easily with the help of this particular website let's see another example using the raw graph sites that is uh, we are going to make a bubble chart and uh, this time i'm going to use the data samples which is a set of data set provided by this particular website so just click on try for data samples and for now i'm going to use this highest grossing quiz in history just select this data now with the help of this i am going to make a bubble chart so choose from chart just select the bubble chart then move to next step uh, the way or you can say the motive of this particular uh, analysis is to visualize the correlation between production budget and return of investment among blockbusters in different movie categories so these are various options available here so so after selecting the type of graph i need to map mapping just uh, in the x axis just drag the budget in uh, y axis just drag the real in the size you need to drag roi in color part you need to drag generic and the last is that is we have label so label will be according to the title now after this just move to next step so you can view the graph now make some changes in these options suppose i am going to change this width as 1280 height something 720 then we have a option of show legend so just click on yes then we have option of max diameter suppose then you want to show color scale i am just setting ordinal uh, last is the labels so you can select like secondary or italic various options are there just simply select primary and click this option that is auto hide labels so true and uh, so all options are set according to this any option suppose i am just selecting it to two max diameter okay so now the last step is to save this particular file just click on download and save so here is the graph okay so the quality of this graph is good as well so by this way you can make charts in different forms of uh, charts are there and uh, now you can see i have first time i have used the customized uh, data set and the second time i have used some sample data set which is provided by this particular website